Now, Kristina Timonovskaya, the Belarusian sprinter who refused her team's orders to fly home from the Olympic Games in Tokyo, has just landed in Vienna. These are live pictures from the airport where her plane has just come in. The travel plans were changed at the last minute due to security concerns. The 24-year-old was meant to be travelling to Warsaw after she was granted a humanitarian visa by Poland. She's still expected to travel on to Warsaw later. Her husband is also due to land in Warsaw today. On Sunday, the sprinter was taken to the airport against her will by Belarusian officials because she had criticised her coaches on social media. Lizia Rudnik is a political analyst at the Center for New Ideas in Minsk and joins me now. Uh, Alicia, we're just looking at some of these live pictures of, uh, of her uh, potentially, I understand, she's now arrived in, in Vienna. So what next? We expect uh, Christina to land in Poland finally and uh, we know that she's been granted the, the humanitarian visa. And uh, despite all the proposals that she got before uh, to get an asylum in Czech Republic, for instance, she chose in Poland. And I suspect that's because it's closest to Belarus and there are quite many Belarusians who reside there. So uh, this might be the case of her appearing as a political refugee or becoming another Belarusian who gets humanitarian visa in Poland. And uh, I'm sure that um, this case is absolutely uh, first in history and it's uh, absolutely uh, disastrous for the image of Belarusian regime. But Kristina will probably not lose her um, status of the athlete. She'll probably join one of the teams in Europe. Uh, and, uh, of course, um, she herself has said in the last uh, 24 hours that her life is in danger if she does go back. In fact, for many years, she said it could be five, ten years before she's able to return. Right. So uh, I suspect there are different uh, scenarios here from her being uh, suspended from the national team to her ending up in prison. And we don't know, of course, how uh, strictly or harshly the regime will react this time or would react this time, but it can be anything. I would say that from suspension from the national team to the criminal case or 10, 15 days in prison, as it happened to many other athletes. Uh, in your view, and just to pick up on that point, uh, are other athletes in the delegation at risk? I don't know whether it's, uh, there are some athletes uh, right now at risk, but we don't know the cases of uh, another athlete who is currently in Germany uh, with the surname Maximva. And uh, she also uh, said yesterday that she's not planning to get back to the country because of political reasons. And uh, I suspect that there are other uh, athletes who are uh, facing some kind of pressure from uh, the officials in Tokyo right now. But it's very difficult to say because all of them are quite afraid and we don't know what is actually happening behind the closed doors. Alicia Rudnik, thank you very much for joining us there from Stockholm.